On today's Solo Saturday, we play Viticulture Essential Edition. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee with Geek City USA, and today we're going to play Viticulture. Now, this is something that my Board Game Geek Secret Santa sent me this year. I just got it a couple of days ago. Um, I've played a few games. Robin and I have played a couple. Uh, I don't think I fared too well. I think she's beat me both times that we played, uh, or did we just play once? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, I played two games solo. I have a good understanding on how the game plays. I don't know a lot of the strategy, but right now I'm just having fun with it anyway. So I wanted to throw this on the table because I'm really excited about this game and actually uh, do this for this week's Solo Saturday. So I have it set up with the uh, Atoma, Automa, what is it? How do, how do you say that? Automa, Atoma deck, whatever. Uh, I've got a set up. They are at 20. Now the cool thing about the solo game for Viticultures, if you look here, there's actually a campaign play. So you can play through up to eight games and each one you add and remove different things or there's different goals. I think that's an awesome idea. There's also ways to adjust the difficulty if you wanna try playing it, um, you know, making it a little bit harder, making it easier. But for right now, we're just gonna play it like normal, like it's set up. So basically what happens is I have seven turns, I'm gonna place my rooster which is going to, uh, if you've never played this game, what you do is each player is going to pick a location and these are times that you go, basically who's gonna go first. And you get these different bonuses, whether you draw a green card, a purple card, get a coin, get an extra worker, whatever it is. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put the extra worker out. But um, anyway, so you, uh, as I tear this bag, there we go. Um, so yeah, you, you are putting your guys out here, putting your rooster out to indicate what time you're gonna take your turn. In the solo game, you can only go to each location once and you get these little glass beads. Now, what you can do then is you can take your actions and typically for a two player game, you only place in these first spaces. The middle spaces are for three and four player games and then all three are used for a five or six player game. Which again, is one thing that I think is awesome about this game is out of the box it plays up to six people and that's kind of rare. Usually you see you know, a game will play up to four, maybe five, and then there'll be an expansion that'll give you the fifth, sixth, or seventh players. But So anyway, um, we can only use these first uh, locations. However, um, with this game, these beads, you can use one each turn, and that'll let you activate the bonus. So in this case, if I sell or, or if I sell at least one grape or buy and sell one field, I would get a victory point. And the goal of this game is I have seven turns to surpass the uh, computer player, or the AI player, if you will, on the score chart. Typically this game would end when you hit 20 points. I just have to exceed that. I've managed to do that when I played this, so I don't know if I've just had fortunate plays, but we will see. And because I, I know I've had some people say like on, on the Dinosaur Island, wow, you had a really convenient hand there. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do all this live. I'm, I'm very much a rules lawyer, and I, I tend to uh, be very overtly honest when I play games. So we're gonna set those right there for now. And uh, so I just wanna make sure that this is all on the up and up so you don't say, well, you know, of course you had the perfect um, perfect play. Now there's mama and papa cards, and no, not the band. And what these do is these indicate like your starting resources. And they're randomized. You might start with different sets of cards, different sets of workers, um, different options, whatever. So I'm going to shuffle these and draw them randomly. So let's start with our papa here. Just shuffle them up. And I'm gonna be the white player. I feel like the white really pops out on the board. The, the bad guy is going to be yellow, which eh, maybe blends a little bit with the spaces, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, so yeah, let's shuffle this up. I will draw this card right here, and it says I have Papa, Papa Christian, and I get $3 and my big worker, and then I can choose to have the irrigation or three bucks. Now irrigation is gonna let me plant better grapes. So I'm gonna take my big worker, and I'll take my three bucks. I have the money here um, off camera. So I have three bucks. And then I'm gonna take, the irrigation takes three bucks, but I'm gonna take it right off the bat. I'm gonna put it right there on the board so we know that we have it. And that way I'm gonna set that pop up. Actually, I don't need the deck anymore, so I can just put that back. But that way now, I at least have that so I don't have to worry, I can plant those right away. And I'm gonna shuffle the mama cards. And these are gonna be the workers and the cards that I start off with. All right, so we'll draw the top one, set those off to the side, and I have, that is 
uh, Mama Nisi. And I get two workers and then two plants and a purple. So that was two workers and two plants and a purple. So I'll go one, two, and a purple. Now the purple are the contracts that you fulfill if you've never played this game. This is saying basically if I can get a, a three value red wine, a one value white wine, I would get two victory points and I would be able to increase, remove my residual income up one on the track. Now what this is is money that you get at the end of every turn. So uh, I'm gonna put these here. What did I get for these cards? I got a, okay, <laughs> I am not a big wine drinker. Um, uh, it's just, I don't know. I get headaches easy, I guess, but um, eh, on occasion. But I'm not going to be pronouncing these right. Like I know Cabernet Sauvignon, um, this Sangiovese, Sangiovese, I don't know. Anyway, the one value and a four value, and you see this one's worth more, but I need to have um, both the trellis and the irrigation. Now I got the irrigation as a part of setup, but so I'll just set these aside here, and I'll leave them. Uh, it's going to be glare, isn't it? Maybe if I move this light a little bit. See, we're doing it live. Let me see here. Bear with me as I, that's eh, a little bit better. It doesn't dim out the shot too much. Okay. So, we've got that. We have our workers. I'll put these into my available workers. And let's get started here. Um, and then let me make sure when I play this, I don't draw the Atoma cards um, I'll do that first the, at the start of placing season. So spring we choose wake up positions So I get to pick where I want to go now. I'm gonna go right here. This is an easy one for me I want to take this spot seven Which is gonna give me one of these and I'm gonna take the extra worker because I feel that that's an important piece of the game although If I go here, I could take money and I can buy an extra worker for next turn See and this is where it starts now. I'm gonna start off with the extra worker so these are my available workers this turn. And now we're going to draw the uh, Atoma here, or the, the AI, <laughs> the computer player. And we are going to place workers here. Now, it could be zero locations, one location, two locations, I think up to three. Um, yeah, it is up to three. So the T is for the Tuscany expansion. We don't have that. So they planted, so one of their workers is going to go on the, um, where's the plant? The plant area here. And I'm going to lay them down so you can see them better. And then these are for the summer actions, or rather for the winter actions, so I don't have to worry about them. So we are going to discard. We got off very, very lucky on that. Set that up to the top. Um, they just have one worker there. So now we have to figure out what we want to do. We have a total of four workers to use, and we got our one bonus here. So I would like to get some money because I would like to train a worker as soon as possible. Um, I don't have any... Uh, any workers or any visitors any summer visitors to place let's do this let's well, I should plant something even though he's there I can't draw a yellow card hey I see right away already I'm, I'm stuck AP I'm AP prone uh, usually I'm not I just do stuff they tell me do stuff and I run um, we are going to right away out of the box we're gonna go here we're gonna Draw another plant card and uh, Chardonnay. So you see here again, I need the trellis and the irrigation. Oh boy. So I'm going to use my big worker here then, and this is probably not the best idea. I was hoping, here's what I was hoping for. I was hoping I would have gotten a, another better plant card so that way I could plant two here, um, but that didn't work out. Anyway, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to. Plant, this isn't much, but this little guy here, which will be a one red, boom. And um, maybe not, oh, I feel like I'm spreading myself too thin. I might be playing dumb already because uh, I wanted to sell a field. Hmm. All right, well, because I want to be able to harvest, but I also need to train. Uh, you know what? We're going to go here. We're gonna sell one field. So I get seven lira. So five, six, seven, that's what we got here. We're over here with our money. And I think I'm done. Um, did I do that where? Did I just take him off the draw? 
<laughs> uh, what happened there? I don't know. All right, so I planted, I drew a card, I planted, and I sold. So I've got seven bucks, so I have enough money where I can get some stuff here. So that's the end of the summer turn for me. So now for the fall, I'm gonna draw a visitor card. Now I could choose to draw a summer or a winter visitor. Uh, I think, you know, I'm gonna draw summer because I'm going to go right to the worker unless the uh, AI deck kills me here. So I draw the organizer and it says, uh, move your rooster to an empty row on the wake up chart, take the bonus, then pass to the next season. Okay. Um, you know, uh, can I do that on the AI one? I guess I can and pass to the next season. All right, so now well, let's see what the AI does. So we ignore these, we ignore this. Oh, this is awesome. See, and you guys saw, you saw me shuffle this. So these two are for summer actions, these two are for the Tuscany expansion, so there's no workers placed. So we get exactly what we want, and we wanna go here, we're gonna pay four bucks. Uh, let me give this five over here, and I'll get my one back, so that we can train an additional worker here. Boom, that's it, that's all our actions this turn. Now we'll go here, year end, we're gonna age our grape and wine tokens. We don't have any, unfortunately. So then let's go ahead here, we're gonna retrieve our workers. This guy's now out because, well, I'll put him there, but we're not gonna end up using him. Let's maybe with that one visitor card. This guy comes back. We collect residual payments, we don't have any. Discard down to seven cards, I only have four. And then rotate first player counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are now and I get to pick another location. I don't need money, uh, but I do need, I want some, I want some more visitors, so I'm going to actually place my rooster here. And oh, by the way, I did use my, this is out of the game, because I used my action, my bonus for the last one. So I'm going to take another summer visitor card. And this one is the artisan, and it says, uh, can you see if that focuses? Choose one, gain three bucks, build a structure at a dollar discount, or plant up to two. All right, let's focus back down here. Hello, we're down here. All right, so right now we'll do this, the AI here, and here we go. This is where they're gonna draw a, a green card, so that's gonna go there. They're going to play a visitor, and the other two are for the winter. So already it's a little bit more, a little tighter board than it was before. So what do we wanna do? Uh, I would like to, if I build a tasting room, uh, I get a victory point every time I give a tour. Mm, but you know what, I really need a trellis because I need to plant these other cards. So that, let me do that. Because then this, yeah, let's do that. So take my regular worker here and I'm going to build one structure and I'm gonna build this trellis and it's gonna cost me two lira. So there's my two, two bucks. And now what are we gonna do? We are going to, um, hmm, we're gonna go here uh, because that's my, my boss meeple and we're gonna play this card. We're gonna play the artisan. Uh, gain one says to, to either gain three bucks, build it. So we're gonna, we're gonna plant up to two. So that gets discarded. We're gonna plant up to two and it just so happens, oh, but you know what? That's okay. So. It's a four and a four, so I'm gonna plant two. I'm gonna put this four here, and this field has a maximum of five values. So I have four white and one red, and this has four red there, and that holds a maximum of six. So I think we're good. Do I wanna do anything else on this side? I don't think so, because I really want to, I've got two workers left. Uh, again, I wouldn't mind getting another worker, and I wanna harvest, because I need to get this stuff into here to get it over to here to start making some money. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw my visitor card for the fall and I'm gonna take one of these winter ones. I get the scholar, uh, draw two or pay three bucks to train a worker. I may lose a victory point to, to do both. Hmm, interesting. So now let's see what these guys do. And so these two are for the, for the summer. So we're gonna play one blue card. So no, uh, no winter visitors for us this turn. And again, this is the T, this is for, for the Tuscany expansion. So not too bad. 
Uh, I tell you, the first game I played of this, I was drawing three and three and everything was full. So I've got two workers here and I do want to harvest. So I'm gonna harvest one field. I'm going to use this to do the bonus so I can harvest two fields. And I will harvest this one. This one gives us a four value uh, white wine and this other one gives, a, or white grape rather, on the crush pad and this gives us one. And this for the second one is going to give us a four value red. Now here's the problem we're gonna have. We only have the small cellar at the moment. And this light is creating another glare. I'll move it a little more, a little more down, eh, whatever. That's not gonna bug me too much. Is it gonna bug you? There we go. Can I make it stay like that? Yes, I can. Okay, anyway, sorry guys, technical difficulties. We're doing this on the fly. Um, my small cellar can only hold up to a three value white wine and a three value red wine. So it's imperative that we unlock the medium cellar, but I wanna use this money for a worker. So, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here and pay four to train another worker. So there's my four bucks and we get another worker. And here's why I'm doing that. I always lose at Agricola. Agricola has always been one of my wife and I's favorite games to play. We haven't played it in a long time, but she always goes right for the workers and she always destroys me. So I'm trying that strategy. So we'll see if it works for me. I'm sure somebody's at home going, you idiot. That's cool, <laughs> I don't mind. So anyway, that's what we got. Uh, I've got nothing else to place. So we're gonna age grape and wine tokens. So this is gonna go to two, this is gonna go to five, and this is gonna go to five. Uh, retrieve workers, so come on home, guys. Come on home. And then these people can get off the board. And then we got collect residual payments. We have none. Discard down to seven cards. I have three. Uh, and then we can, that, that, well, that's really it. So where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Um, I need money. I need to build stuff. Uh, do I take the dollar? Do I take the coin now? I'm gonna take the coin now. So we're gonna take this. Then it'll give us one lira. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do from there. All right, so let's see what the AI does. So they are going to draw a green card. They are going to play a summer visitor. And the other two are for the summertime. So that one is out of, the, out of here. All right, now what are we gonna do? We got a good amount of workers. I got five workers. All right, um, I can give a tour to gain two. I can use my bonus to get an extra one, which will put me one more to building the cellar. Um, hmm, maybe we'll do that. Because otherwise, or I could build a structure, it would cost one less, but I need the money. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna use this here. So we're gonna get two plus one is three lira. Boom. And then I am going to go here to build one structure, pay four, so easy come, easy go. And we are going to build a medium seller, which is this guy right here. So we now have our medium seller, so we can go up to six on our, um, on our wines. And we can also now build a blush wine, which is you mix a, a white and a red and you build a, you build a blush. So <laughs> build a blush, make a blush, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I wanna do on this side, because I wanna go over to here to be able to make up to two wine tokens. I also wouldn't mind starting to get some contracts, making some money, well, but we'll figure that one out. So yeah. I think we're good. Is that all we want to do? That's all we want to do. Yeah, that's all. That, that's our contract here. So we can actually fill this contract. It's a three and a one, although we'd be paying a lot for it. Anyway, I think that's good. We're good. So fall, we're going to draw a visitor card. I'm going to draw another. So I'm going to draw a fall visitor. Maybe it's something good. Uh, it says bottler, make up to three wines and gain what is that? One victory point for each type of wine you make. That's pretty cool. That is really cool, actually. So we're gonna make some wine. And we, we are not gonna make some wine because this guy's going here, and then that is the Tuscany, and then we're not, we're not gonna fill any contracts. Well there, okay, thanks. Um, what we're gonna do, oh, we're good. We're actually just fine. So, do I want to harvest my fields? Because what would I get? I would get a four, or I would get a four and a one. Yeah. So we're going to go here. We're going to harvest one field. And I'm going to harvest this one here. It's going to give us 
a four value white grape, whoop, and a one value red grape, boop. And then we are going to send this dude here to play a, a, a worker, or a visitor rather, and we're gonna play this to make up to three glasses of wine and gain one victory point for each type of wine you make. So I can make up to three. I need a three and a one. So I've got the one, the four. Yeah, so watch this. We're gonna move this one over. This is gonna become a one value red. We are going to move, oh, hold on, that's not what I wanna do, Whoop, rewind. <laughs> Schlotzky's Deli. We're gonna bring this guy over for a five value red. We are going to bring this guy over, I guess, for four value white. And we are going to bring this one and this five over, and we're gonna make it a value six blush. So we have made three types of wine. This gains us one victory point for each type of wine you make. So we are now on the board. We are so close to winning this game now. <laughs> okay, I think that worked out well for us. And now, oh, if only I had the bonus card. Oh well, we're gonna go here with our boss meeple and we are going to fill an order. And if we look here, a three red and a one white. So this five red and this four white are gone. We overpaid a little bit, but we're gonna get two victory points for it. So that brings us up to five. And we're gonna get one uh, on the residual income. So we're actually now, we are a quarter of the way there and we have four turns left. So we gotta speed up a little bit. We, we need more points. So that's all we're gonna be able to do for this turn. So we're gonna, uh, your end, age grape and wine tokens. So our grape is gonna go to a three. Uh, we can't age this anymore because we haven't unlocked a large cellar. So no sparkling, uh, white sparkling wine and no blush seven for us. Uh, we're gonna retrieve our workers. So come on home, pal. Shoo. Now I like this game because it's very uh, cut and dry. Uh, some worker placement games get a little difficult where, like, I think Agricola. I love Agricola, but I can't play Agricola with a lot of people because there's a lot of other stuff going on. And then I think a Stone Age, and granted, it's been seven years since I played Stone Age last, but Stone Age was really easy. You put your stuff here, you get your resources, whatever. This is really in between because you have a lot of choices to make. They're all really straightforward once you get the iconography down and you figure out what you're doing with making wine. Even if you're not a winemaking fan, I think you figure this game out easily. Uh, and then it adds the cards that, you know, the planting, there's a little bit of a, a dynamic there, how you're building your engine, if you will, as well as all the, the different uh, visitors and the contracts. And I feel like it makes it a little bit weightier than like a Stone Age, but it's still light enough that um, I think it's a really welcoming game. So anyway, we retrieved our workers, residual payment, I get a dollar, yay, yay. And then we will discard down to seven cards. I only have two. And now we're gonna move the rooster. Where are we gonna go? I'm gonna go up here, because I'm gonna draw a contract. Uh, so I will take one of these here, or an order. And it's for a value five, get two victory points and one on wine. So, well, we don't have that yet, but I think that would be a really easy one for us to get. Um, famous last words, right? So now we'll see what these guys do. We're gonna draw one, so no plants for us, and we're gonna play a summer visitor. So no visitors for us, we'll set that aside. The other two are for Tuscany. And now let's see here. So what is our goal going to be? We need a large seller, of course we need money for that, I've got a buck. Uh, I don't think that I wanna sell any grapes, and I'm not gonna sell another field because that's silly. I uh, can't draw a card. Boy, what do we wanna do here? Let's give a tour? We'll get two bucks if we give a tour. Uh, if I play this, this would give me another bonus. I don't think I want to do that though. Well, shoot man, I don't know what to do here. Uh, can't build a structure. We're going to give a tour. We're going to gain two lira because we really need the money right now. We need six to build our large cellar. Uh, I could use my boss meeple to do another tour and ditch um, this to gain another buck, and then I'd be able to build that. I think I'm gonna do that. I feel like I'm overpaying and I'm limiting myself for what this deck is going to do to us, but you know, whatever, let's not overthink it. So I'm gonna go here, give a tour, 
I'm gonna use this to get the bonus. So that's gonna give me three. So here's my three back, but I'm immediately going to go here to build a structure. We're gonna get rid of all six of these. What I realistically should do is buy the tasting room because then every time I do this, I get a victory point. Yeah, but we need the seller, so I'm gonna buy the seller. And I think that is all that we are going to do for the summer. Um, although I could plant, and that would build up my coffers a little bit here. Yeah, because we don't know where we're gonna be limited. We're gonna limit ourselves on workers, but no, not plant, what's wrong with me? It's not what I wanted to do, I'm thinking harvest. Uh, yeah, no sense in planting. So we're done on this side, because yeah, we're not gonna plant. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna draw our visitor card and I'm gonna draw a summer visitor, I think, because I feel like we need some of those. Uh, now this one says each opponent may give you, because it's an opponent card, you take those out of the deck or just skip them when you play a solo game. This one is, uh, again, another your opponent. If your opponent does this, you get that. So skip that one. Here we go, the planter where we can plant up to two, gain a Lyra each, or uproot and discard one to gain two victory points. Now, I used this uh, last time I played solo. At the end of the game, I used it to discard a bunch of stuff because I wasn't going to plant anymore. It really helped bump me up when I was at the end. So that we're going to sit on that one. Uh, and then let's see here. So what does the AI deck do? So these two are from the early. Now they're going to draw a purple contract and then make up to two wine tokens. So, boy. Man, we are, uh, what do we wanna do then? So we're gonna harvest the field. Yeah, we're good. So we're gonna harvest one field. We're gonna go for this four and this one. So a one red, and then a four value white. And then I think, uh, I can't fill, the, I can't, no, I cannot fill the contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send, oh, I used my boss meeple. I can't do it, son of a gun. Uh, what does this guy do? The scholar, she would let us draw two, so if you could see that, I could draw two contracts or pay money, which I can't pay any money. So do we just take contracts then? Because we can't fill a contract, we don't have the money to pay. Um, yeah, I guess that's what we do. Oh, man, I can gain a buck, that's not worth it. Yeah, so we're gonna play this, and we're gonna draw two contracts with the Scholar. So we'll draw one and two, and these are both actually pretty good. A three and a one and a four and a three, these are easy for us to fill, and we you know, it gives us a maximum of five victory points, but good to hold on to here. Set those so we can see them all. Kind of making a hot mess over here. Make it so that way you guys can sort of see it. I know it's probably far on the shot, but then that's all we're gonna be able to do this turn. So year end, age grape and wine. So this three goes to a four, this one goes to two. He go to there, and now we have the large seller. So man, we've got this blush wine. Nobody wants any yet. And then we'll collect our workers. So come on, come on people now, smile on your brother. All right. You know what, I would uh, I'd, I'd put a challenge out there for you guys. I think every video that I do when I'm filling, so when I do these solo Saturdays and anything else that I'm doing a gameplay, um, I always feel the need, like the unboxings, I feel the need to like fill the dead air. I, I have to talk because if, if I'm silent and you're watching, you're going, oh, I'm bored. So I talk a lot when I do these. So first of all, tell me if I talk too much. Don't tell me that, because I know I already do. But um, so I always, uh, I always seem to fill the dead air with song references, lyrical snippets, or something. So I would challenge somebody to watch my videos, the other solo playthroughs and the unboxing stuff, and let me know uh, if there's ever been one that I haven't done that with, or it let me know the song that I reference. That's always fun too. So anyway, we're done. Uh, collect residual payments. I get a buck, I get a buck. Hey, 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 hey. And that's all we can do. I only have five cards, so we're okay there. I'll take a little sip of water here, because like I said, I'm talking a lot. Right, and then we will continue on. So we will, where are we gonna go? We have three turns. Man, we better make this work. I'm gonna go here so I can draw a green card. Maybe we'll wanna plant something. That's a pretty low brow card, but nah, man, I don't know. 
So, but you know what? We have this organizer that would let us take an action a second time and then it would pass to the next season. So but let's see what the AI does. They're going to build one structure. That's fine because I don't have the money to build one. And the Tuscany board. So, woohoo, we are okay. What shall we do? Um, hmm. <laughs> I can plan up to two and gain one. We're going to save that because I don't have two. I don't know if you can hear the thudding in the background. Something's going on upstairs. My kids are chopping around like crazy. Um, so let's... We're going to play a visitor at the end because we're going to take an extra bonus. Um, not going to give a tour. Okay, so I think that I'm going to plant. Why not? We have... I'm afraid that we're going to lose too much with this deck here. And I've got a lot of workers. So let's plant. I've got this one value here. We'll beef up this field a little bit. That way if we get stuck and all we can do is make wine tokens, we're good. Uh, do I want to give a tour for money? That could let me maybe get enough money to make a worker. Build a worker. Build a worker. <laughs> build a worker. What am I going to want to do over here? I'm going to want... I need to make wine tokens, I need to harvest, and then I need to fill orders. So I'll need at least three workers. Um, and I want to use my organizer. So we're just going to use the organizer now. So I'm going to go here, we're going to play the organizer. Let's me move the, the rooster to an empty row on the wake-up chart, take the bonus, then pass to the next season. So what bonus do I want to take? I want to take an extra victory point. That's a free point, but then this will give me, you know what, I'm going to go down. My contracts are not bad. I don't need any green cards. The money I'll pass on. I think I want to get a, I'm going to go here. Boy, there's a free victory point that I'm giving up, but I'm going to draw a winter visitor. And uh, this Zomologist lets me make up to two wines of value four or greater, even if I haven't upgraded my cellar. Well, that's a bummer. That's that's a little too little too late on that one. That was a waste. I should have taken the victory point. Uh, okay, well, I pass on that. I'm not going to do anything else over here. So we'll draw a visitor card. I'm going to draw another one of these, which uh, gain three and draw one summer visitor, or draw one contract and make up to two wines. That's actually really, really good. We're going to cover up the zoomologist there. So then let's um, see what we do here. And, oh, the only thing we're not going to be able to do is get a worker. Boy, that worked out well for us. So what do we want to do? We have three opportunities. So we're going to do some harvesting. We're going to harvest a field. And we need a lot of white wine here. So... Do I want the high value red? No, I want the high value white wine because we need more. So we're going to harvest this field here and we're going to do a white four and a red one. And did I age my wine at the end of the last turn? Yeah, I did. I feel like it flow, the scheme flies by. Um, okay, and then we are going to Make up to two wine tokens, but I'm going to use my bonus. Or wait, hold on. What does this do? Draw one and make up to two wines. So this would let us make up to two. Yeah, so we're going to go here. We're going to play this visitor. And we are going to draw a contract and make two wines. Uh, yeah, so we'll draw a contract. Which is... Mediocre at best at this point. We've got a lot of these middle line ones, and we can make up to two wines. So we are going to make, we need a three and a four white wine. It'll give us three victory points. Um, I got a four and a five right now. I need a five wine here. I've got a four. So if we want to fill a contract, we're going to have to do this one. This one is a three and a one, but the, I'd be overpaying. So yeah, we're going to make two wines. We're going to make a four and a five. Bingo, bango. And then, we still have a bonus. Yeah, so we're going to fill an, an order. I'm going to gain an extra victory point. So I'm just going to take that now. And we're going to fill this order right here. 
a four and a three, so we're gonna take care of the four and a five. Like I said, we overpaid a little bit, but you do that a lot in this game. I do anyway. And we'll gain three victory points, one, two, three, and then we go up one on the residual income. That's our actions, oh boy. Um, we are, we have two more turns to get uh, really 12 points. Oh boy. All right, so you're an aged grape and wine. Boy, we've got this blush wine that is rocking it in the cellar that nobody wants. That's, them's the breaks. We will retrieve our workers. Hmm. This guy here. You get off the board, and then we will collect our residual payments. So we'll get two bucks, two lira. Discard down to seven cards, which we don't have to worry about because we only have five. And then it's back to our first turn. So I guess it really doesn't matter. We can always take the victory point later. So let's just, we'll do this now. Save that for our bonus. And let's see what happens here. Build one structure. And the rest are for the summer, or for the winter. So that's not too bad, we just can't build a structure and we don't really have the money to build a structure anyway. Uh, we could actually use this money later, we can pay to train our worker, maybe get our last worker for the later, later game. I don't know. So okay, let's figure out what we want to do. So what's this let us do? We're gonna save this for when it's time to uproot. We might not do a whole lot on this side here. Maybe take a, take a little bit of money. I've got nothing to plant. I really have no fields to plant in. I could sell some of these grapes off for a couple bucks, but that's kind of not worth it. Oh, yikes. I might have uh, played myself into a corner here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a tour. I'm gonna take two, two lira. So that way we have the money to uh, pay a, train a worker. I really think that's all that I'm gonna do on this. Boy. Yeah. Although I could use my bonus to get an extra victory point, but then I'd be losing out on wine. I'm gonna need that wine in the cellar to fulfill the contracts. So yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna regret that. I'll draw a visitor card. I'm gonna draw a winter visitor. You know what? Hang on. Before, I didn't look at that. I could build a structure now and I could build my cottage and draw two visitors. Maybe that's a better option right now than training my worker. If I use that, that would cost me four bucks. I would not be able to get a worker if I get an extra card. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. But I would get that bonus for two turns. What do you think, people? Ah, come on, friends. Do we... Do I want to build a structure which builds a cottage which lets me draw two cards each turn so I would get four cards now instead of two for the remaining remainder of the game or do I want to be able to train a worker and get that worker I'm going to train a worker I'm not going to do that I'm going to train a worker so okay so we're going to pass we're going to draw a visitor card I'm going to take a winner one guest speaker all players nope so let's draw this one here we go Harvest one field and either draw one plant card or pay a dollar to build a yoke. Oh, that's not terrible. That'd be great in a double, you know, or multiplayer game. But okay, let's see what the computer does. Uh, the only thing we're going to lose out on is playing a winter visitor. So very low turnout from the uh, from our opponent here. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We need to make some wine. We need to get this wine in. Uh, harvest one field, neither draw a plant or play one to build a yoke. That would give us the ability to harvest again later on. Oh, but that is full. So let's go here. We're gonna go here. If I harvest the field, we're gonna harvest. I'm gonna harvest one field. And we are going to Get the one here where it gets me a four white and a one red. Okay. And then we are going to make up to two wine tokens. And we want to refill, we want to fill this five. So I'm going to move this guy over here to a, a red five. And there's a two and a two and a three and a one. 
They're about the same. So the other one we're going to make is going to be this white line here. Uh, and then, actually, I think we're going to do that in a different order. We're doing that in a different order. That's still what we're going to do, but before we do that, I'm going to place my worker here so that way I can play this card to harvest one field and either draw one or pay one to build a yoke, right? Because that was, I built the line. I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? That's a harvest, not a make glass or make wine. Hang on. So I'm thinking on this one. So yeah, now we're going to, uh, you know what, the, the order we did it in is fine. Oh, but I wanted to use that. Shoot. Because I wanted to use this for its secondary, but we're okay. We're going we're gonna to harvest one field. Um, so we'll harvest this one that we didn't do, which is uh, a red four and a white wine, one white grape. And we got one worker left, and we'll be able to fill an order. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, and we're going to... Do you want to pay a dollar to build it? Look at I didn't even end up training my worker. Ooh. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Did we not want to do that? We don't want to do this. No, we don't want to do that. I probably do want to do this. We're going to take our one. We did this one. So our one and our four, we're going to take out. All right, four and one. Yep. So we're going to actually use this guy, train a worker. Oh man, that's not looking good for us. I don't think I played this well at all. And we are instead going to use this one to fill one wine order. And I'm going to fill this one here for a five. So we're going to get rid of this five. It gives us two victory points. And let's us increase this, but I'm also going to use this bonus so we can earn that extra victory point. Whew. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to win. Nine points in the next round. All right, will we be able to do it? I think we have a good chance. I'm talking out of my butt here. Okay, age grape and wine tokens. We got some really good blush. What are our odds of drawing a blush card? Oops, grape and wines. Take our workers home. So we got full six workers to place. Although the uh, the AI deck has been very nice to us. Watch it kill us on this last turn. Uh, collect residual payments, we get three lira. And then discard down to seven cards, we have five. So we're okay. So we are going to figure out what we're going to do, which, you know what? I think we're going to go here and take this last action and get a victory point. Boom. And then what's happening here? Place or move one we, in the Tuscany board, harvest nothing. We are doing nothing. So this is all wide open. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So what are we going to do here? Um... So we're going to need contracts. We'll bring this wine over. So we're going to need to harvest. So I need a yoke to harvest. So we're going to build a structure. Build one structure. Two bucks. We're going to build a yoke. That way I'm sure we're going to be able to harvest. Because that'll let us harvest and uproot, and this will let us harvest as well. So we're not going to be out of the bricks when it comes to harvesting. We'll, we'll be able to do some harvesting. Uh, so I'm going to, what else I want to do? Play a, we're going to take a harvest action right here. We're going to harvest a four white wine and a one red. Okay, the, we got this. We got, we're going to be okay, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. We're going to play one Summer Visitor. We're going to play this one to uproot and discard one to gain two victory points. So we are going to uproot and discard this four, or this, this one right here, and we'll gain two victory points. We only need five, car, five victory points. Ooh, ooh, we're going to be able to do this. I feel good about this. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else over here. 
three workers, I think we're good. Draw a card, I'm gonna draw a winter visitor. Designer, build one structure at its regular cost and if you have at least six structures, gain two. I have one, two, three, four, five structures. Will I be able to build anything for two? I only have two bucks. Uh, probably not, because all I have left is the, uh, the windmill, which is five, this which is six, and that's four, so. Not looking good on that, but we'll figure that one out. So let's see, this is it for all the marbles, and that's not good, not good at all. Harvest one field, no soup for you, and make up to two wine tokens, no soup for me. Ah. Uh. All right, so let's think about this. We're gonna need to fill a wine order. Currently where we're at, we need to do a harvest action. Which we have the ability to, with this, we have, okay, so we'll be able to make wine. So we'll be able to play and make wine. Um, so we don't have to worry about harvesting. So we'll need to fill an order. We're gonna draw an order. We're gonna hope for a high dollar order that we're gonna be able to play. Ha, 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 ha. Look at this, look at this. Seven and a three, seven blush, we have a nine. We just need to make a, a red wine three. And this, we just won the game. Doo, 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 doo. Because what we are going to do now is this guy's gonna go here to a value of four or greater. Uh oh. Yeah, no, yeah, we're okay. So we're gonna play, we're, this one actually came in handy. So we're gonna make up to two wines with a value of four or greater. So we're going to take this white grape and make a white wine, and we're gonna take this red grape and make a four red wine. So we're okay there. And then what we are going to do with our very last meeple, our boss is gonna go here, and we are going to fill an order, and we are going to fill this order right here that's gonna cost us a seven blush, which we have a nine, so that's gone. It's gonna cost us a red, three red wine, we've got a four, so that's gone. And that is going to give us five victory points, so we have tied with our cork, and two residual income, but I'm going to use this for the bonus to gain one extra there. Boom, bingo, bango, the very last card play, we won. We won! Look at that, guys. We never win. We very rarely win, and we have won by one point on the very last turn of the game. Oh, I'm so excited. You can't see me doing a happy dance. I'm doing a happy dance. I'm doing a happy dance. I'm doing a happy dance. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Viticulture. That's this week's Solo Saturday. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching. Look at, we won, guys. Woo! You know, these cards are awesome, and they, they play to our advantage this turn. I feel... I feel happy. So I think what we're gonna do, let me know if you wanna do this. Let me know if you want me to make a little mini series. I, I would do it in addition to the solo Saturday, maybe a, a video a day. But let me know if you think we should do the campaign play. Would, would you guys be interested in watching it? Comment down below and let me know if you'd, you'd be interested in that. Uh, Cause I would totally do that if people are gonna watch it. If nobody's gonna watch it, I'll play it on my own. I won't record it and edit it. It's, but yeah, let me know what you think. Because we got, I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff here. Start at negative three victory points, but you, you start with money, so it's different challenges, so kind of cool. Anyway, there you have it. That, once again, is Viticulture Essential Edition. Uh, Jamie Stegmeyer, Alan Stone, and Morton Monrad Peterson. Uh, excellent game, highly recommend it. And I hear that the Tuscany expansion really ramps up the game, and I think that's my next expansion that I purchase is going to be that. But All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us, and we will see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.